What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. Today we are taking a second look at the Amazfit Stratos. So I've been using this watch for about 4 months now. I first had the Chinese version and I used that one for about a month. And then um, I switched over to the English version which is this one right here. Now the only difference in between the two is of course the language. On the Chinese version we get the um, Chinese and on this one the international version we get um, the English language. Now the boxes are also a bit different because the box for the international version looks a bit better but either than that everything is the same. So there are a lot of sports smartwatches on the market, some of them are cheaper, some of them are more expensive, some of them have GPS units like this one, so the Macefit Stratos has a GPS unit inside. But most of them don't get um, great battery life, well at least to this one you can get around 7 days on one charge. Now other smartwatches like the Amazfit um, Beep can get up to 30 days on one charge so I guess that's better but that watch doesn't look as cool as this one. Now of course the battery life will depend on how you use the watch because if you get a lot of notifications every day and the watch has to keep um, vibrating if you keep the heart rate monitoring on at all times and if you use the GPS a lot of course you're gonna get um, less than that but um, for me personally and the way that I use the watch I can easily get about 7 days on one charge. I also love the fact that the watch looks very similar to the real watch and by a real watch I'm talking about a classic um, looking watch and that allows you to wear the watch in more situations. The rubber straps are also very comfortable but at the same time they are also replaceable so if you don't like the rubber straps um, or if you want some leather straps or some metallic ones so the watch can look better in different situations you can buy different straps for it and you can easily replace them. The watch's body is also made um, out of a very premium looking material and on the right hand side we also have three metallic buttons. Now you can use the watch from those buttons or you can use the touch screen. However if you are um, swimming with the watch it's going to be a bit difficult to actually use the touch screen and that's um, when the buttons are going to be very useful. And of course since I'm talking about swimming with the watch, the watch is also waterproof and I actually took this watch in the ocean for a couple of weeks every single day and nothing happened to the watch. So if you're going to be taking showers or watch washing dishes with this watch, nothing will happen to it. Now the thing that I love the most about this watch is the always on display. So this watch is using a transflective display and that means that the more light you have hitting the screen the better you're gonna see the screen. So if you take this watch outside and it's super bright outside the better you're gonna see the screen and that's the opposite for all the other smartwatches available on the market because um, with the other smartwatches if you have like an AMOLED screen or an IPS screen or anything like that you're not gonna be able to see them that well when it's sunny outside. On the other hand if you don't have that much light the screen doesn't look that great so for example if you're inside the house and it's not that bright inside the house you're not going to be able to see the screen that well however we have a backlight so every time you turn the watch towards yourself the backlight will come on and then you can see the screen so the watch has a light sensor as well. Another thing that I love about this watch is the ability to connect some Bluetooth headphones and listen to music without having um, your phone with you. So the watch has 4 gigs of internal storage and on that internal storage you can save some music. So you can either do that by connecting the watch to the computer or sending those songs right from um, the phone to the watch. And then you can just connect the Bluetooth headphones and listen to music right from the watch without um, needing your smartphone. If you prefer listening to music right on your smartphone and you don't want your headphones to be connected to the watch you can also control the music from the watch so to do that you're gonna swipe up from the home screen on um, the watch and then you have access to a little control panel where you can start and uh, stop the music and switch songs and so on the watch can also monitor your heart rate 24 7 and I know a lot of people like that including myself now it depends if you want that because if you don't want that function you can just turn it off and of course if you turn it off you're also also gonna save um, some battery as well but if you want the heart rate monitoring to be done 24 7 you can do that and then you can see all the progress right um, on the app I mean you can still see that on the watch but I guess the watch is kind of small and you can't exactly see everything even if you keep the continuous heart rate monitoring off at all times the heart rate monitor will actually be on every time you do a sporting activity so if you go for a walk if you go for a run if you take the bicycle out or anything like that the heart rate monitor will be on for those activities and so will be the 
GPS. However, the GPS you can have on or off. So for sporting activities, the watch has a whole bunch that you can choose from. So you can choose um, a run, you can choose to go for a walk, um, cycling, pool swimming, open water swimming. So if you're going the ocean, um, of course, you have like running indoors on a treadmill, you have cycling indoors um, and a whole bunch of other activities. Each activity will display different information depending on what you do. So, of course, you're going to see the speed, you're going to see your heart rate, you're going to see the distance that you've done, the calories that you've burnt, and so on. You can also adjust um, what you're going to see on the watch right from the app. So, you're going to have to open the app before you do whatever activity and uh, change stuff around if you want to see different information um, on the main screen of the watch. For most outdoor activities, you can also use the built-in GPS and uh, it takes the GPS about 30 seconds from the time you start the activities until it finds your location. And if you use the GPS, of course, you're going to use more battery, but then you're going to be able to get more accurate readings for your speed, your distance, your pace and so on. Once an activity is done, all that information is going to be synced right on the app on your phone. And this way you can see everything about that particular activity. You can check the map. So it depends where you've been, um, if you're swimming or if you're um, taking the bike or um, whatever you're doing. You can see the map and see where you've been. And you can also see the speed, the pace and the different information regarding on the activity that you're doing. The app used to sync all the information in between the watch and the phone. It's called the Amazfit um, watch. And this app can be found in the Google. Play Store or the iOS Store. So the app works on um, iPhones or any Android device. The app is in English and it will keep track of everything that you do throughout the day. So it will track how many steps you've done, the distance that you've done, the calories that you've burned. Um, and of course, if you keep the heart rate monitoring on at all times, it will display that as well. The app will also keep track of all the sporting activities that you've done. And then you can see everything by the week, by the month and uh, so on. Through the app, you can also set what notifications should be sent to your um, smartwatch because you don't want to get all the notifications from all the apps that um, you have in your phone. So you can just set um, some notifications to come to your watch. So you can see all the notifications on the watch and you can read them, but you cannot reply to any notifications. And if you want to reply to a notification, you're going to have to take out your phone and reply to it that way. So on the watch, you can only see the notifications, nothing else. You can also change the watch faces right from uh, the app, but you can also change them right from the watch itself. And I think it's more convenient to actually change them from the watch because you can see how um, they look on the watch. Some of the watch faces are also customizable, so you can change different fields. You can choose if you want to see the steps or the weather or anything like that. So after using this for almost four months, I still believe that this is one of the best smartwatches that uh, you can buy. Now, this smartwatch is not going to be for everyone. First of all, it's kind of expensive because you're going to have to spend uh, close to $200 to buy this watch. And as a smartwatch, it's not as smart as other watches like the Apple Watch or any other watch uh, running Android. And the watch cannot do what those um, watches can do. But at the same time, this can do more for sporting activities and the battery life on this one is so much better. Not to mention the always on screen, which is my favorite. So if you're looking for a very good um, smart watch, a watch that can track your activities throughout the day and uh, a watch that looks like a watch, basically, this is definitely a good watch to get. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.